Hello, I'm Jill at Ingvid, and today we have a lesson on、um, a set of words that go with countable and uncountable nouns.、Um, people sometimes get confused about this.、Um, even native speakers of English、uh, make mistakes with、uh, some of these words. So. Um, I have it all explained here on the board with some example sentences to show uh, what uh, what to use in which、uh, example. Okay, so th- the words are on the left hand side there in red. So few, little, a few, a little, fewer, less, and more. Okay. So,、um, and you can see that sometimes they're used with a countable noun when you can have a plural. So, if it's countable, like book and books,、um, it's countable. There can be one, two, three, five, ten, a hundred. They're countable nouns. So, books is a book and books is a countable noun. So, few. Um, is used with books, and then uncountable nouns are when you use a singular to refer to that noun, like with wine, wine, bread, rice, water, beer, those sorts of words, which are uncountable because they're used in the singular. Uh, sugar, salt, all of those different things, they're used in the singular, but there can be a large quantity of it. But it's one thing, and it, it's uncountable because it's used in the singular only. Okay,、um, so it will vary according to whether the noun you're using is a countable noun or an uncountable noun. So let's just have a look at each example to see how that works out in practice. So with the word "few," which means not not very many, okay. So we've sold so many books. Say we we have a bookshop. We've sold so many books. We have few left, meaning few books. We don't have many books left. We don't have a lot of books left, so we've sold so many books. We have few left. Okay. And then looking at an uncountable、uh, with wine, we've drunk so much wine. There's little left. Say you have a bottle of wine, and you've been topping up people's glasses with it. And that there's little left in the bottle. For example, we've drunk so much wine. There's little, little of it left. There's little wine left, meaning not much wine left. Okay, there's only a little amount. Right. And then a bit confusingly, we've had few on its own, but here we have a few. Okay, and、um, we're back to countable again,、um, and there are, and we're back to the bookshop again. There are a few books left in the shop, just a few, a small number, and it's interesting that it sounds more positive if you use a few. If you say, "Oh, we have few left," oh dear, we have few left, it sounds rather. Um, negative and、uh, worried. You you sound a bit worried if you say, "Oh, we have few left now."、Uh, but if you say, "We have a few left. We have a few left." It sounds a bit more positive and optimistic. So that's the different effect between few and a few. So there are a few books left in the shop. So we can still sell those.、Um, So more positive than we have few left. There are a few left. Okay, and 
also um, the same happens with little and a little. So a little is again uncountable. There's a little wine left. There's a little bit of wine left in the bottle. There's a little wine left. Whereas this one, we've drunk so much wine, there's little left now. Oh dear, it's nearly gone. It sounds more negative. But here, there's a little wine left in the bottle. Would you like the last drop? So it's more positive sounding, I think. But again, it's uncountable with wine. So a little wine left. Okay. Um, now, fewer is, again, like few, used with a countable noun. So uh, we're looking at books again. So if people read on the internet, they will buy fewer books. Okay. A lot of people, including native English speakers, uh, make a mistake with this. And they say they will buy less books, which is, strictly speaking, it's incorrect. Uh, it's fewer books, not less books, because less goes with an uncountable noun, less wine. Fewer goes with a countable noun, like books in the plural, fewer books. So if you see the noun is in the plural, I think you'll find that fewer is the correct word to go with it. Fewer books, but less wine. Okay. So if people read on the internet, they will buy fewer books. So as I say, native English speakers make that mistake. Um, so um, you might be able to correct them <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> you may not want to uh, because they may be a bit annoyed. If I if I I don't correct people either, because I think if I said to someone, you know, it should be fewer books, not less books, they would probably say, oh, Jill, you're so pedantic. Uh, so it's not nice to be accused of being pedantic. So um, anyway, mm. you might notice it anyway and think, oh, I know more than that native speaker about English. So, okay, let's carry on. So, less is used with uncountable nouns. So, the doctor advised us to drink less wine. Okay, uncountable wine, less wine. People don't tend to make a mistake with that one. It's, it's the fewer one that, where the mistake comes. So, less wine. And then finally, we've had less and now we've got more. And this one works with both countable and uncountable nouns. So that's something less to worry about. So uh, we can say the shop has sold more books today. So a plural countable noun, books, more books, or and then with an uncountable singular wine, would you like more wine? So more works with both countable and uncountable. It works with books and it works with wine. Okay, so I hope that helps to clarify um, a slightly confusing thing. And I think the difference between few and a few and little and a little is another thing, as well as the mistake people make with fewer and the countable noun, fewer books, not less books. So um, those are the main points to, um, to remember about this. So I hope that's been a helpful explanation. And if you'd like to do a quiz on this topic, just go to the website ingvid.com and do the quiz. And um, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.